My name is Lori Eisenhart, and I am here because um, Mrs. Garlock um, met me through my work, and she wanted to do a large mosaic project and asked me if I could guide um, she and the, her students through the, the project. The kids did their own ideas of what they thought would be important for the mosaic, and they created all these wonderful drawings that inspired me to create the, the imagery for it using a lot of their drawings and their ideas. I came up with three that they're actually doing, like the football, and I can't remember the other ones, but it's, we're having a bunch of fun making this mural. So we want to show the diverse um, um, student population and um, and also we just what was important to the kids to express in the mosaic, which is like some of them are just basic things like the hopscotch, things that I wouldn't have known. Um, they gave me drawings that kind of informed. And some of it was from their imagination. Best part on the mural is probably going to be the giant sun. Because it's cut into four different It's cut into four different people. Four different kind of faces. And then there's skulls on top of it, so like we have different races going and attending our school. Clay is kind of one of those mediums that is is fraught with a lot of uh, challenge that, you know, when it's going into a kiln and being heated up to 2,000 degrees, a lot of things can happen. So I'm, I'm hoping to guide them through so that we have success and then they can see how all those individual efforts that they're making will create something really larger than them. I kind of feel like really proud because this is our last year here before we go to Anderson. So we leave kind of something special behind to show all the younger kids that come here. I really liked it. I think it turned out awesome, better than I was expecting. Well, I thought like it's cool that like we get to like make something and it's gonna stay here forever. And then like everyone will see your work. And when it was first coming together, I was like, whoa, that looks cool. I can't believe we made this as just fifth graders. I just hope that years from now when these kids are older and grown, they'll bring their kids back to show them. You know, I was a part of this. I helped make this. I love permanent art because I think it's something that you can come back years later and still look at and admire. It's like it's like it's it's a mark of the fifth graders. Exactly. It's like our our thing, like goodbye, goodbye, farewell.